Welcome back to our Technique Tuesday. Today's Technique of the Week comes from boxing. So I'm gonna be going over what I call the educated punch, which is throwing with the same hand multiple times, usually two to three times with the same hand without alternating hands, okay? So, <clears throat> so the real basic one from your boxing stance, if you throw a double jab, so I step in, one, two, that's considered an educated punch because I'm throwing twice with the same hand. Same thing with the rear punch, if I throw a right cross, and as I throw that, I shuffle in with the, the rear leg, I call it replacement step. Here, I come in and throw the same hand. Okay, so that's a cross, hit the guy, he backs up, and I want to load up on that punch, I got to shuffle in. So I go, cross, shuffle in, cross. Okay, other basic educated punches is coming off of the jab. So I can shoot a jab, reload it, come back with a hook, or I can shoot a jab, hit my hip, come with an uppercut. Okay, so I got one, three, or with an uppercut, one, four, okay? Mike Tyson also used this a lot with uh, his hook to the body and then an uppercut to the head. So he would finish on this side with a body hook and an uppercut, or sometimes after he'd throw a hook to the head, he'd come hook to the body, rear uppercut, okay? And you can even get more advanced and start throwing three punches at a time. So say I throw my right punch, I'm gonna shuffle in, I throw this right punch, I shuffle in, I can go body hook, uppercut, okay? Or I can go right punch, shuffle in, uppercut, reload, throw another right, okay? I can even incorporate angles if I'm going off to the side. And I can step off as I jab, I slip, step with my own jab as I come inside his jab, replace, go to the body and the head, the same hand, okay? So that's an educated punch, a little bit of head movement and footwork, looks like this. One more time. All right, let's see what this looks like on the pads. <laughs> 